Welcome to this series of podcasts on Oracle's in database SQL Analytics. My name is Keith Laker and I'm a Senior Principal Product Manager for Data Warehousing and Big Data at Oracle. In this podcast, we're going to review the extensions to the SQL Group by Clause, which allow developers and business users to add subtotals and grand totals to their result sets. These can range from simple row column subtotals to the creation of sophisticated hierarchical multi-dimensional cubes. The key benefit of using these group by extensions are, firstly, they provide a faster, more efficient framework for creating and managing subtotals. They also allow developers to simplify their application code by pushing processing back into the database. And lastly, they provide investment protection through compliance with ANSI SQL standards. The extensions that we're going to look at fall into four categories. Roll up. This calculates multiple levels of subtotals for us. Cube calculates all the possible combinations of subtotals. And grouping set allows us to specify which subtotals are going to be computed. Finally, concatenated groups allows us to calculate a hierarchical cube. So if we have a fact table called sales based around two dimensions, time and product, the fact table will contain time IDs for months, product IDs for items, and will have the amount sold. Now, the base fact table contains only the base data, but obviously our business users want to view a logical cube containing subtotals and grand totals to help them drive their analysis. Traditionally, we use sum and group by operations to create and aggregate along the two dimensions to derive a single group. So in this example here, we've created a subtotal of year and division. But if we want to create subtotals at the division level for all levels within our time dimension, then we need to extend the group by clause using the roll up syntax and specify the levels that we want to calculate. The action of roll up is straightforward. It creates subtotals that roll up from the most detailed level to a grand total, following a grouping list specified in the roll up clause. Roll up takes as its argument an ordered list of grouping columns. First, it calculates the standard aggregate values specified in the group by clause, and then it creates progressively higher levels of subtotals, moving from right to left through the list of grouping columns. Finally, it creates a grand total. So in this case, we want totals at the division level and within our time dimension for levels year, quarter and month. But notice that the roll-up also calculates the additional level of all years. It's important to note that both roll-up and cube extensions work independently of any hierarchy metadata in your system. Their calculations are based entirely on the column specified in the select statement. This means that cube and roll-up can be used even when there is no hierarchy metadata available. Now, if we want to know the total sales for all items across month, quarter and year, then we can just simply drop the division level from our roll-up clause and just specify the time elements of year, quarter and month. And this will create the total for all divisions across those time periods, including the all years. If we want to create some higher level totals, but have more control over these totals, we can use the cube clause. Cube is much easier to use where there are lots of dimensions, since only the base levels need to be referenced in the cube clause and all the other levels will be inferred for us. In this example, we've specified division and year within our cube clause, and this will automatically create the additional totals for all years at the division level, all items at the year level, 
and the additional top level of all items and all years. We can have more control over which subtotals are generated within the cube by using a grouping sets clause. Here we want to compute totals for division and quarter along with year and brand. But note that we don't, when we run this, get the additional totals for all divisions or all years. So this is where we gain some of our control. So as we said before, the cube and roll up will automatically add these levels, whereas using the grouping sets capabilities, we gain control over which aggregation levels are created. Concatenated groupings offers the ability to control the combinations of groupings by allowing you to specify which levels are calculated as part of the aggregation process. In the example shown here, we're going to calculate subtotals only for the levels brand month and division month. Concatenated groupings offers a concise way to generate useful combinations of groupings and avoids generating unwanted aggregations. Concatenated grouping sets makes it easy to generate exactly the aggregations we need to supply to our business users. In the following example, we're going to compute a hierarchical cube as a data set where the data is aggregated along the roll-up hierarchy for the product item dimension and this aggregation is then combined across the time dimension. It includes the typical set of aggregations needed for business intelligence queries. By using concatenated groupings, you can generate all the aggregations needed by a hierarchical cube with just n roll-ups, where n is the number of dimensions, and avoid generating unwanted aggregations that your users might not be interested in. So here, the first roll-up is over the product item dimension, creating subtotals for item. Next, we establish the totals for brand, division, and finally, all divisions. And now we start processing across our time dimension. Firstly, we compute our quarter subtotals, then we compute our years, and then we compute our all years to give us the complete cube containing all of our required subtotals and totals, including our all years and all divisions. So these ex SQL extensions to the group by clause are extremely powerful and can be used to deliver the most frequently used BI datasets using simple SQL statements. They re remove the need to ship large volumes of data to a middle tier BI engine to create the required subtotals and grand totals, which means that they are very, very performant. Hopefully this brief podcast has given you some insight into the power of these additional aggregation extensions, roll-up, cube and grouping set clauses.